Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Double Z playing and welcome back to another Minecraft video on the Zap SMP. We have a lot to do today, so let's hop right in. So we are back in our fortress and as you guys might be able to see on the sides of me, we have two new additions, uh, two ender dragon heads. I actually got these from the super scavenger hunt. Uh, some of you may have forgotten about this or maybe just don't know about this, but uh, in the marketplace, I built this quaint little stall here at the beginning of the season, and this was the super scavenger hunt. So uh, where you see this cobblestone now, uh, those used to be diamond blocks. Uh, it was basically, I gave people tasks uh, or things to get, and each uh, amounted to a different number of points, uh, and then whoever had the most points at the end won the 10 diamond blocks. I'm going to be honest, at this point I didn't really need anything here. Nobody was really playing because uh, it was kind of a pain. Uh, well, okay, signs, hello. Some of the things to get were kind of a pain, and by the time that it would be easy to get them, most people either forgot or, you know, they just didn't need those diamonds that bad. So in the end, we only got 10 stacks of diorite that were originally intended uh, for the promised land, but um, we actually finished the promised land building. And then we also got those two heads. Uh, so I thought I'd just let you guys know that that happened. Uh, it was actually Durampo Hunter who won that. But I had far more important news that I meant to tell you guys all about. And I uh, completely forgot about it because of, yeah, my super scavenger hunt. But as we fly over our base, you guys should notice the cliff. It's complete. Oh my gosh. I spent the last around 35 minutes on it and it's now all done. Uh, and I've got to say... It's, it's actually pretty awesome, but since we no longer have that giant hole and an episode or two ago we demolished the house here, uh, there's no longer a way down to the cliff, but I thought in advance. Uh, so if you guys will remember back to when we built this, we have this thing. Uh, at the time, I used this to get into the inner workings of our base, uh, which was definitely helpful, still is helpful, but we are done with anything that would have to do with the interior here, so now it's time to use this for its original purpose, and that is to make an elevator down to the bottom of our cliff. I do want to make this look nice, uh, like it's still a part of the castle, even if down here it's uh, not as nice. Uh, also, just wanted to mention this this thing looks crazy okay this looks absolutely nuts to me but i don't plan on doing anything fancy for this this is just going to be your standard bubble elevator uh just like we have in the promised land uh yeah i i know i have the resources to make something cool but honestly man i don't i don't think it's necessary it also appears i'm going to need way more stone bricks than i originally anticipated though actually uh it might be cool if we used some glass here like we make a glass tube uh so i think what i'm going to do is two of these walls will be stone brick and then the other two right here will be glass okay and there's an absurd amount of creepers too Woo! Okay, I only died four times uh, trying to get my stuff uh, against my own armor, but <laughs> we got everything. We're okay. Everything's fine. Uh, let's let's just please. I just I would just want to build this elevator, please. Oh, and don't don't worry. I'll find better things to use than um ladders. But for the time being, ladders are all I have for this. So uh, they're gonna have to do. All right, and there our elevator is. Uh, I actually I quite like it. Uh, the stone brick, the stone brick is nice, of course. Uh, it's stone brick, it fits with the theme. Uh, I could go down there, it, it's not like an eyesore. It, it also only takes like three seconds. But the glass, I think, the glass is really cool. So at least for the time being, I think I am going to go with the glass. Uh, you guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, I just think that the glass will let us get a really nice look at, you know, everything we have down here. Now comes the uh, difficult task of trying to replace uh, all of the stone bricks, uh, without completely flooding this place. Oh wow, okay, uh, we had just enough glass for the job. I don't think, uh, we flooded too much. And I think it looks pretty cool, uh, it's definitely kind of a contemporary look, uh, doesn't really match in with the rest of the base. But down here there's not exactly much to match with, uh, there's just a lot of different stuff. But look at that, we get a great view of everything as we go down. And so now we can come down here and gaze upon the underside as we walk through to our old home. Oh, why is today the day of mobs? Oh no. Well, my friends, I fixed pretty much everything. I got all the chests back in place. 
Uh, I think we may have lost some things, uh, which is unfortunate, but I guess we're just going to have to live with it. Today is really the day of mobs, and that really sucks. On the plus side, though, we can come up here, enjoy the view, uh, and then walk out of our beautiful fortress. Are you joking? Okay, leave. Be gone. They're, uh, you're inside of my kitchen? They better not be in any of my storage systems. But as I was going to explain before those raiders so rudely interrupted me, the next thing we are doing today is we are finishing up this path. Uh, PP8 hasn't really had the time to do it, so I figured I'd take it upon myself. If I'm going to be real, today's episode is mostly about cleanup stuff. Uh, so this is definitely something I've been meaning to clean up for a while. So I've kind of paved out the direction I want it to go in, whoopsies. With these lanterns, I've kind of melted the snow everywhere. Uh, so next, I am just going to do some very basic, uh, you know, dirt paths right here. Uh, I think all of this is going to go. Hopefully, while we're doing this, we'll get some nice scenic views of the village. And I think we will, seeing as we are, whoa, uh, wrapping along this cliff top so i am going to bust out all of the tools available at my disposal and hopefully i'll be back with a good looking path all right folks after a bit of work i have completed the path uh i think it looks pretty good um i don't think it looks as great as pp8 section uh but he's really good at paths uh i am not but altogether i think it's looking really decent uh over here there's just a lot of flat ground uh, that I wish was kind of more textured, so I'll see what I can do about that. But overall, this is kind of the shape that the path makes. Uh, this is what it looks like. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. We've got some lanterns around here to keep it all lit up. It might melt a bit of snow, but I can also place snow blocks down there, uh, which won't melt, which is pretty good. Uh, so I think this is all sorted out. The only thing besides placing all of that snow in that I've got to do is kind of meld these two paths together. Uh, because, you know, it, they're two very different types of paths. Uh, so, my hope is, is that if we do a bit of this, hopefully, uh, and then maybe, uh, I'm just very wary. I almost got blown up by a creeper again. But here we go, I think that looks nice. Uh, you know, very, it's a very subtle, uh, little thing, but it works. It definitely works. Uh, and then over here we can place in our snow blocks. Uh, it's apparent that I'm going to need a lot more snow. But at least for now, our time here at the base is complete, and now we must head on over to the promised land. We have a couple incomplete things that we have got to do here. Wow, um, so uh, it's time to take care of business. Why? Why must there be a creeper outside of my office? Get out of here! So here at the Promised Land, pretty much everything except for one thing is complete, uh, and that is our road system. Originally, we planned on putting all of our farms inside of different buildings uh, and kind of build like a little city uh, around our main tower. Uh, in the end, we decided not to, partially because we didn't have time, uh, and partially, I think, because the farms just look cooler this way, uncovered. And just kind of the way that they're strewn around and stuff, it, it doesn't make sense. Uh, you know, and we've also got these things right here. That it, it just wouldn't make sense. But we still we still wanted this road uh, that PP8 was working on for us. We still wanted this here uh, just because we thought it looked pretty good. Uh, and it also connected everything, you know, like as, as much as I love to just run and jump across the grass here, you know, to get to whatever. Uh, it's, it's not exactly ideal. Uh, and it doesn't make this look as professional as it should. So we have our roads, uh, and as you guys can definitely tell, uh, our roads are incomplete, and they don't even start to go around all of this. Uh, only until recently, it kind of just came up to here, and then PP8 started moving it over there, uh, but he just hasn't had the time to finish it, so I figured we would take a load off of his back and get that worked on. So we've got a load of supplies here to work with and plenty of time, so let's hop right into a road building time lapse.
Alright folks, I hope you guys enjoyed that time lapse. I know I sure did. Uh, I'm really glad we got this all done. The Promised Land looks actually so much more complete with this. Uh, you'll notice I had to put some string on here to stop mob spawning. Uh, it just makes the whole place feel more tied together, you know. Now instead of just random farms kind of everywhere, we've got a nice road that just ties everything together. Uh, there's definitely a bit of terraforming I'm going to have to do here, and I'm also going to have to collect flowers to uh, place here, but all in all, I think this is a really good start. But that is going to be it for the Promised Land this episode. Now we are actually going to be heading back home to our base where we have something important to build. Now, I'm going to be honest, uh, I thought that I wasn't going to be back at my base this episode, uh, but I forgot that I, I had meant to do this actually a while ago. Um, but yeah, we are back here, uh, at our wheat field, where my beautiful king, Mumu Takao, reigns. Hello, my dear king. <laughs> I've missed you. I also, yeah, uh, I, I said I would build you a throne room. I didn't. Uh, but I am a man who keeps his promises, so we're going to have to build a throne room. So I think we're going to build it, uh, right here, actually. Uh, oh no, but we've got the cows, um cows are going to be an issue. Alright folks, so I've cleared out the space and built the uh, where the walls are going to go. Of course the walls are not going to be stone. Uh, this is just kind of its layout. And so next, oh, uh, it's night actually. Uh, next we have to sleep. But after that, uh, we're going to head on over to our man-made forest uh, where it appears we don't actually have a, well, we have some spruce, but we're going to need a bit of spruce for this. All right, so our walls here are going to be five by four uh, with spruce logs. Oh, would you look at that? See, none shall pass except for the cow king himself. But anyways, we are stripping uh, this wall. I think it looks pretty nice, uh, kind of like expensive paneling. We also need glowstone, uh, which luckily we have plenty of. And so right here, we are building arches, or not arches, but uh, actually we are building big pillars just like we have back in our throne room. And we've got the glowstone down here to act as lighting. Uh, it's all very majestic, very nice, all suited for a throne room. All right, that looks much better. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to give this thing a roof. And once again, the addition of a roof makes this entire place look so much better. And the soul lanterns, in my opinion, also really add uh, kind of a theme to this place, uh, especially since the next section we are going to do uh, involves diamonds. Uh, I, went, I went mining recently. Um, so I have more diamonds, uh, than I did before, which is why I'm willing to spend them. One, because of that, and two, because, you know, my, my beautiful king, he deserves all the riches a, a yak could ever want. So to commemorate this truly flawless yak, uh, we are going to be building a giant M for Mumu in the floor. Uh, I think, I think that definitely looks nice. There wasn't exactly enough room in here for a diamond pile, but this definitely does the job. And while I went diamond mining, I also did uh, a bit of gold digging. So I have got pretty much all of my gold minus the gold uh, from my giant pile over there. Uh, and with said gold, we are going to create a throne for our beautiful king. All right, here we are. We have Mumu Takao's luxurious throne. Uh, looking very, very rich, if I may say so. Um, that's pretty much all of my gold, though. Uh, which, which isn't exactly a happy thing, but we'll deal with it. So now, if we add, uh, a back to this throne area, our room will pretty much be complete. Alright, so now, besides actually fetching our beautiful king himself, uh, we only have one job left to do for this throne room. Uh, and it's a pretty small job, it's just making sure the entranceway, uh, the cave here, looks, uh, you know, like an actual cave. A, a real life cave. Alright, there we go, the cliff face, uh, and then the actual throne room itself is complete, and it's looking pretty good if I do say so myself. Uh, it's a small scale build, but I do think it looks pretty nice. However, it is still missing one thing, and that one thing would be our illustrious leader, Mumu Takao. Oh, by the way, guys, uh, I, I got a new friend. His name is Buddy. He, uh, for some reason, he's really just staring over there. But here you are. Come. Come, my beautiful. 
this way. You have a throne room, just like I promised you. Come on, just right over there, where, where the crazy spinny cow is. All right, so hopefully with my guidance, yes, he's able to cross right into the throne room. Uh-oh, hang on, please. I just, I need to attach my beautiful baby up here. There we go, there we go, okay. Oh no, don't you dare fall in. Don't you dare. Don't you, okay. <sighs> Whew, he's safe. Uh, I, I wasn't even talking half the time, I'm sorry, because uh, I was trying to make sure my beautiful one here did not fall uh, down a hole uh, where he could have potentially died. That would have been, no, no. Impossible to imagine, but look at him. Look, he's, he's he loves his throne. Don't, that's not the right thing. Don't you? Come on. Throne. Throne. Yeah, no. And just in case uh, we hurt you in some way, shape, or form. There. Have some wheat. Uh, the rest of this. Just. Mm. No. Go away. But isn't this a lovely sight? We come in from our beautiful wheat field full of his subjects. We ignore the stuff that I accidentally smushed. Uh, goodbye, seeds. We, we've got the nice thing. We come into here. Uh. There was going to be a sign there, but there's not one. Uh, nice, nice texturing. Beautiful, but kind of small throne room, but it fits our beautiful king at the end perfectly, uh, where he sits on his nice, nice gold throne. Oh, beautiful king, I love you. Did you see? He, he raised his little head up. Oh, the, the man's a charmer. But I am happy about that. While that may be uh, a bit small, it fits its purpose perfectly, ow. And there we go. It says, throne room of King Mumu Tekau, my beauty. But with that, my friends, our episode is coming to a close. Uh, I've got to say, I'm really happy about what we did today. For starters, uh, we finished off the path over here. Uh, it may not look as amazing as PPOA might have been able to make it, but I think it still looks half decent. Uh, it definitely helps finish off the base. And uh, I just, I really like it. We also tied it in to this stairway that we made a while ago that I'm also going to have to, what was that? But along with that, we also made the beautiful throne room of Mumu Tekau. I mean, just look at him. He looks very happy, very kingly up here. Uh, yes, my dear boy, you are a king. Also, uh, who could forget the giant diamond M uh, on the floor in his throne room? definitely worth the diamonds we also made that road back at the promised land uh not going to go there because i don't have enough rockets right now but i think we all know what it looks like and i think it looks pretty great but with that if you did enjoy please leave a like if you're new consider subscribing we just hit 200 subscribers and if we could hit 300 sometime within the next couple months uh, i would actually be blown away but with that i don't have much left to say so double z out